welcome to this video from Sana Audio. Today we're going to introduce you to the D&B Audio Audiotechnic Workflow. D&B are a international speaker manufacturer uh, based in Backnang, Germany. So D&B offer three main pieces of software for the live sound industry uh, for when you're creating or producing a, a, a show of any kind from theatre, uh, live events um, or festivals. Uh, realistically, you can use this any for any, any event um, that you're working on. So to start with, you've got a Raycalc which is the prediction software you use with all their products. Next is R1 control software, uh, which you link from array calc to the amplifiers, um, and it takes all your data and puts it on the amplifiers, and we'll go into more detail about all of this. And lastly is noise calc. Noise calc is a prediction software for mainly used for outdoor events and festivals to mitigate any unwanted noise. So let's look at array calc. From this screen, this is the venue screen where you start and build your venue. Um, so you take your measurements of any site measurements you've taken and then you can create different listening planes and obstacles or structures to represent your area of your audience or auditorium. From there, you can input your sources. Um, and this one, in this example, this is just the default project you get with uh, Array Calc. In this picture, you can see the V series line array um, as the example. Um, and it gives you the overall uh, bird's eye view of the venue, the dispersion angles of the top view for the horizontal view, and the uh, vertical view of every single box in the line and then it gives you the distance the sound level um, over D, uh, db spl one of the great things about this software is you can look at a 3d plot of your venue with all the sources you have implemented this software does go into a lot of detail of how you can adapt and change your system to fit the venue uh, best suit or the best system for this venue. So in this example, they've used the medium V series to have a coverage over the majority of the venue, and then a smaller set of V series for the side hangs. Once you've put in your sources and you're happy with it, you can always go through and look at your uh, SPL plan of where, what level you're getting over. Uh, this is done in 60 B increments over the venue um, with the highest SPL on this one being 119.1 dB. Um, and then you can also change it and then update it and keep going that way. Moving on from Array Calc, where you can take all this data once you're happy with it, export it straight into R1. R1 is, a P is the control software that links the DMB uh, amplifiers with Array Calc so that you know from start to finish all your calculations are correct. It will import the data into R1, and from R1, you plug it in directly into a DS10 uh, network interface, which goes in between um, your laptop or your um, computer and the actual amplifiers. It will, then you can upload your data into the amplifiers, but you've got multiple different options to be able to configure and to and tune the system to, uh, especially on site when you, you can't tell if there is a resonant tone or you've got a certain frequency that is just, um, you can hear and is really quite piercing. And this may, in this software, you can edit this. 
With R1, you can import your patch list, which you created within ArrayCalc. From here, you can double check that everything is in the correct order with the right input mode, output mode, and the correct amplifier IDs. As you can see here, this gets a lot more detailed view with what the main hang is, the channel letter, the model of amplifier you're using, the device name and ID. And on the left hand side, it has grouped it. This is where you can really um, tune your system and actually configure your laptop to the way you want it to be. From this screen, you've got, well, at the top, you've got three options, configuration, tuning, and show. From the configuration, this whole screen is changeable. On the right-hand side, you can see all these different buttons and options. You can, drag, you can put them in and you can adapt it to how you have, however you want um, to work with your, your work, more workflow, personal workflow. This is another screen that's exactly the same. This is in tuning mode. Uh, so once you're happy with your configuration, then you can set this um, to tune the system on site uh, with the amplifiers um, and make sure everything is correct. This is noise calc. Noise calc is a piece of software that's designed to show you the mitigation and the propagation of sound in outdoor spaces. This is very useful for outdoor um, festivals and events where it's especially close to built up areas or cities and towns. When opening noise calc, this is the first screen you get. On the left hand side, you have got your noise standards, which are recognized by multiple governments around the EU and the United States. Below the drop down box is a brief description of the three main different types of audio noise standards. On the right hand side, you've got your general information, which includes the title, the project number, the project engineer, the customer, and a description about the event you're putting on. On this screen, I've created a DBSPL graphic plot of the demo project in Backnang using the KSL series. This plot shows the DBSPL levels in DBA of the noise coming from your stage. This is shown in 6 dB increments. Every 6 dB is shown on the plot with a different color. From black and blue being the loudest all the way down to a very light uh, blue slash green which is the quietest. In conclusion, uh, my personal opinion is that I believe it's a very efficient workflow. To be able to use array calc and use the site uh, measurement data you've taken of the venues you're going to um, or that you've been to and just to be able to implement a, a new system using DMB products to see just just to experiment um, on, on the one side and be able to see what these different systems would um, behave like uh, within this environment um, and just to be able to design a new system for that environment, whether you're going on tour or doing an install. And then to be able to, once you've decided on a system uh, that has even coverage across the venue, um, then to take that and actually import it into R1. And then when you actually go to uh, the actual venue or you do the install at the venue, you can then load that project directly into the amplifiers. Noise Calc on the other hand is a kind of a separate piece of software that only really comes into play um, on on outdoor sites um, and you can implement of course you import your system from array calc as well um, and then you'll put it on the site you specify um, and then you of course you calculate the noise levels outside Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below and I'll happily get back to you.
and try and answer them as best as I can.